Now, my next guest, comedian, best-selling author, just released his ninth children's book, Virtually Christmas. David Baddiel joins me now. It's so good to see you. You too, Lorraine. And just in time for Christmas. Look just at that. in time for Christmas. I thought, I thought I'd release it this time of year. <laughs> that book. I thought, you know, after this won't be so good. Well, exactly. Yeah. Um, Christmas goes horribly wrong, doesn't well, it? Well, Christmas has gone horribly wrong at the start of the book. Uh, Christmas is controlled in the world of Virtually Christmas by a slightly malevolent internet company called Winterzone, who bear no relationship at all to big book-selling companies that actually exist in the real world. No. But it's controlled in the world <laughs> of Virtually Christmas by this big company, and they've sort of really ultra-commercialised it. Right. So everyone just does Christmas on screens, even snow only appears on screens, everything's delivered by drones, and Santa has sort of disappeared. <gasps> They've kind of, you know, where is he? No one knows where he is. They've done some sort of secret deal with Santa, so he never appears anymore. And one little girl is not happy with this. Uh, well, she's 11, she's not that little, Etta. And she's always sort of like, what's happened to Christmas? Grandma, who's no longer with us, used to tell me about Christmas like it used to be. Right. And one day, in her block of flats, she sees a sort of fat, bearded delivery man dressed mainly in a red uniform, and she thinks, oh, could it be? <gasps> And now you have to read the book. Oh, exactly. Find out what happens. Yeah. I mean, this is your ninth. It's my ninth children's your book. Your ninth children's book. Yeah. Million copy best-selling author. It's yeah. right on there. That's it not is bad, my ninth children's book. I partly wrote it though because I secretly, not that secretly, I love Christmas. Oh gosh, so do I. I have a thing about Christmas I think, because I'm Jewish, and actually when I was young we didn't celebrate it. Did you not at all? No. And oh, so when I was about twelve, I, I started to realise we're sitting here at home. Hanukkah's long gone, <laughs> and there's a big party happening and somewhere I else. Yeah, this isn't great. <laughs> Noel Edmonds, he's not talking to me, right? <laughs> so I decided when I got older that I was really going to dive into Christmas properly. When I had kids, we did, we, we always did everything. Yeah. Stockings, uh, there was a mysterious bite in a mince pie on a course, plate near the uh, chimney, all that stuff. And, to, and I love it. I like the sound and smell of it. I, I love, love Christmas. I love the morph and wiseness of it. I love yes. the idea that it might still snow. And it never really <laughs> it does. Never really unless does. you're way, way, way up yeah. north, it doesn't really. But yeah, but we just we hang on to that hope. I love and... the idea that I love the fact that we don't know what day it is between Christmas and New Year. No, yeah. what day is it? Thursday. No one knows. No one knows. You yeah. have chocolate for breakfast. Oh yeah. It's just the best. No, it isn't is brilliant. It? And See, I think that book is slightly written out of my love of Christmas, my yeah. sentimental love of Christmas. And it's the Christmas that we want. Yeah, that's right. There's it's a kind of idyllic thing. idea yeah. that we all have. A sort of, it's to do with, you know, I believe in Father Christmas by Greg Lake. And I when he sings song. about the peel of a bell and that Christmas tree smell, mm. it's a sort of British Christmas. It is really, yeah. it is really. And sometimes it works, but sometimes you end up fighting oh, no. with your family. Oh, you fight family. with your family and of course it all you goes do. wrong. Who obviously. ate the last chocolate and, yeah. and all of that? Yeah. And who's going to take I was the once out? carving a turkey the wrong way round, apparently. And uh, one of my rel in-law relatives got furious me about that. You've got to <laughs> carve it the right way round. It doesn't matter. Yeah, well, thanks for telling me that. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. Yeah. It's absolutely fine. It really is. So, also, now, you were talking about the fact that, you know, you, you didn't celebrate Christmas when you were wee. Mm. Um, you wrote a brilliant book about Jews Don't Count, and it's going to be a documentary. You've, got, you've done the documentary, haven't you? For Channel 4, yes. Yeah. So yeah. That's going to be out quite soon, I think. Uh, quite soon, in a couple of weeks. Great. And, yeah, well, for anyone who doesn't know, that's a book I wrote about how... Uh, for me, Jewish identity, Jewish inclusion and anti-Semitism is not kind of as high in the mix in our conversation about racism and discrimination as maybe some other things yeah. are. And I wrote a little book about it and it seems to have been taken up by a lot of people. But then Channel 4 asked me to do a film about it and what I was really kind of excited about is a lot of very interesting people wanted to take part. So. Mm. David Schwimmer is in it, and he got in touch with you, didn't he, David Schwimmer? From well, Friends, he, he, he wanted to be, he wanted to be. There you are, look, best pal. <laughs> there I am. Like that, I'm in Friends. There, it looks like I'm. Mean, I could be. Chandler. You're in Friends. There, yeah, in a bar in Central Perth. Yeah, Absolutely. no, yeah, I, David. I mean, there's Sarah Silverman in it, Miriam Margolis is in it, Stephen Fry, all sorts of people. But he, it wasn't about the documentary, it was about the book. I, I, I don't know much about Instagram. I'm basically on Twitter. Right. But Instagram, lots of people send you messages. I don't really look at them because most of them are nuts. But every so often I think, oh, I should look at these. And then suddenly I think, I know that face, small on my phone, but that face, I recognise it from Central Perk. And it was David, and he had read the book, and he wanted to talk to me about it. He really responded to the book, right. like a lot of Jewish people do. Like, this really speaks to me. And, mm. and then we talked and we met. And then I said, do you want to be in the documentary? And he did, and he's brilliant in it. He's oh, really fantastic. brilliant in it. Yeah. I learned such a lot from that book. Thank I mean, you. you know that way where you think you know, 
you think you do, and then... Well, someone once said to me doing. about that book, who's not Jewish, they said, I realise now that anti-Semitism is the racism that sneaks past you. Yes. And I think that's, the book helps you spot that. That's actually a brilliant way to sum it up. It is. It's absolutely true. I mean, we had all of the, the problems, you know, the, the Jeremy Corbyn days and all of that, and it sort of reared its horrible, ugly head and then it's sort of gone away again, but it hasn't gone away again. Yeah, I think it's a yeah. centuries-old problem, oh, yeah. which, you know, recurs over time. Absolutely. And that, if the book helps a bit with that, then that's good. No, de it, it, I and cannot wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. And it, that, that'll be... And, it, and again, it's educational without being preachy. That's what I loved about the book. The, book, the know, film's actually pretty funny. It's not, I well, it would be. You can't do something about Jews without having funny. There has there. to be jokes. Yeah, there has to be jokes. <laughs> it must be. That's yeah. how you get through life, isn't yeah. it? But this is lovely, David. It really is. I mean, obviously going to be a huge success like them all. I hope and so. And aren't kids great because they are the most honest critics yeah. ever. Yeah, no, kids are very, very keen to tell me whether or not they like a book. And generally they do. So far, I haven't had a kid say to me, I hate this. <laughs> Oh, that's good. They're not trolls, kids. No, no, they're no, yeah. and they're no, and it's and we have to stop them from turning into them. That's, yeah, no, that's, that's the thing we've true. got to do. That's so true. virtually Christmas is out now. It is right out now. right now. Perfectly in <laughs> time for, for Christmas, Christmas yeah. to be a present. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So, it's Christmas so now, isn't it? We can yeah. say it's kind of Christmas now because yeah. Halloween is over. Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. Yeah. 51 you know what it is? Days? It's virtually Christmas. It's virtually Christmas. <laughs> so there you are. <laughs>